Now, from the two world wars to the Wall Street crash, from the first man on the moon to 9-11, one man who knows more than a thing or two about the events of the 20th century is Robert Fox. For his new book, We Were There, the author and broadcaster has chronicled some of the defining moments in history through the eyes of the people who were there. Hi, Robert. Thanks for coming in. Um, how did you decide what to put in? It's just what I remembered. It's a large, it's a potpourri of, 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 of favourite pieces. It's words that stuck in my mind and images that stuck in my mind. We voiced up some of the excerpts from the book. Uh, let's have a look at one excerpt on the Battle of the Somme. A lovely day, intensely hot. Lots of casualties in my trench. The enemy are enfilading us with heavy shell dropping straight on us. A complete trench mortar battery of men killed by one shell... Scores of dead and badly wounded in trench. Now 1 p.m. So the powerful words of someone who was there. Who was it? And why Ernest you... Shepherd, mm -hmm. the illustrator of Winnie the Pooh. How Very... did you come across that? Well, my co-editor remembered this. And we, when we settled down to do it, I, particularly with the First World War, it, we wanted it from the soldiers who were there, and the writing was, and the poetry, as we know, was incredibly good. Striking mm. image, but it's just beautiful, clear, simple writing. Mm. Something that, that we will all remember where we were when this event happened more recently uh, is something else that appears in your book. Let's have a look at another extract. As my wife and I watched from the Brooklyn building's roof, the South Tower dropped from the screen of our viewing. It fell straight down like an elevator with a tinkling shiver and a groan of concussion, distinct across a mile of air. We knew we'd just witnessed thousands of deaths. We clung to each other as if we ourselves were falling. Very strong words there from the novelist John Updike. Um, how did you come across those? We were looking desperately for words on 9-11 because it was an image. It was played out, a lot of it, live on TV, mm. as, you, as you may remember. And the images were more powerful than the words. And then suddenly I found this in The New Yorker. So this it, is one of the difficult ones for you, was it, to it, actually portray in the book? Well, it was abs it's an astonishing piece. I think it's one of the greatest pieces in the, in, in the book, and it's become one of my favourites mm. because... Updike describes the problems of reducing a monstrous event into mm. words that are comprehensible, that can be understood mm. and felt by the audience. It's a real masterpiece. And, of course, you have experience of this yourself because you're in the Falklands, which also appears in the book. Let's have a look. The pilots said there had been smoke and dust everywhere, punctuated by the flash of explosions. They faced a barrage of return fire, heavy but apparently ineffective. I'm not allowed to say how many planes joined the raid, but I counted them all out, and I counted them all back. So the words of Brian Hanrahan, uh, but actually you have your own memories, don't you, of that? How yeah, they were the it? most famous words of the whole <laughs> campaign, and he's a terrific writer, still a very good friend and colleague, mm, you know. Mm. Um, my own memories were much more uh, um, extended and concentrated at the same time. The most powerful image I've got is of the landings, I was actually 10 metres behind that chap, that uh, booty, mm. carrying the, uh, the flag. We were coming down from uh, two, two sisters, and I was at Goose Green, which mm. actually taught me more about reporting than anything I've done before or since, because only fewer than 2,000 people were involved in that battle mm. of 36 hours. I still haven't found somebody who can tell me everything significant that went on that day. Listen, Robert, it's, it's fascinating talking to you, and it's a fascinating book. Thank you very much for coming in to talk Pleasure. to us about it.